What's the word, OG Gang? It's your boy, OG Wavy 6, with another episode. Uh, this episode is a voiceover, the reason why you know, my girl is listening to music. So I'm trying to be polite. Well, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to tell her to break it down. But back to the subject. I'm doing the wash your style. I haven't washed my, my hair for like a week. As you can see, I, I'm doing the comb. Trying to get my hair, you know what I'm saying, from that laying extra, extra laid down because it's double compressed most of the time. So, as you can see, I'm waking my hair up. You know what I'm saying? So, make sure you comb it right before washing style. And this is the best time for you um, to massage your hair. I'm talking about with the comb, scratch your scalp. Because I know having waves is like having braids. You know what I'm saying? When I used to have braids, I used to smack my hair like, like I was... I don't know. It looked like I was a fiend smacking my hand. Why? Because I didn't want to scratch it with my fingers. Because, you know, when you got braids, you scratch it. You get the um, the braids loose, and then you got to braid it again. It's almost the same with the uh, with the waves. When you waves, you get a lot of products, and, you pour, uh, and your pores get clogged. You got you to gotta smack your hair a little bit because you don't want to use your fingertips and, and get your waves messed up. You know what I'm saying? So... Pay attention to that. So the first thing that you got to do, um, you comb it. That way, you know what I'm saying? Your hair is all the way up, you know, and you don't have to um, do the conversation again where your hair is um, soapy with the shampoo. A lot of waivers, um, they they use the comb when they are um, doing the washing style. I respect that, but me personally, I don't really have to do that. You know what I'm saying? For each his own. You see what I'm doing right now? Right now, I'm scratching my scalp. It's being a wig, you know what I'm saying, with your hair laid down. Sometimes you need you need that extra scratch in your hair, you know what I'm saying? And this is the best time for you to do, um, like, a little massage to it. So you'll be all right, you know what I'm saying? That way, when you wash your hair and everything, your hair is going to be clean. Right after that, my hair is going to be clean. I got a video um, coming soon for that. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to be uh, my first wash. I already uh, rinsed my hair. You know, get it wet first. Before you apply shampoo, get your hair uh, wet. You know what I'm saying? So you could do the first washing style. Um, as you can see, I said number one is the first wash. You know what I'm saying? This is the best time for you to massage your scalp. You know, get, get all those products out. You know, I use, let me see. I use this week, um, moisturized. This is my fourth week, so I'm wolfing, and I use um, pomades. I use uh, oil. Well, I always use oils, and every 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 washing style that I do, I use oils. The reason why, because oils is good after your hair is dried. Your hair is not gonna be that dry because of the oil. So when I rinse it out, you know what I'm saying. I, I apply a lot of oil so I can have a little extra oil in my scalp when I when I rinse the the shampoo out. So that's that's one of the tips that you guys could use. You know what I'm saying? It's some cocoa oil or castor oil, Jamaican oil, they good. I got all those type of oils. You can get it in the beauty supply. Look, this is my my first washing style and look, my hair look clean. But I don't I don't feel satisfied with just that wash. Why? Cause I got all the products in. So when you apply a lot of products the whole week, I suggest you guys do it on. A second washing style. I know it looks clean. You know what I'm saying? I, I can see the lather and everything, but my hair is dirty. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to cap. My hair is dirty, so I need to get those products out. You can see I'm using my fingertips. I'm going through my hair. You know what I'm saying? Boom. That's what you got to do. Now I'm going to the second washing style. As you can see, number two. This is the, the This is when the journey begins. Now you're going to see I had leather in the first video, right? Now I picked these out. Look, soon as I put the shampoo in my hair, the leather just came on. You know what I'm saying? So now that's the detangle brush. If you guys want to get that, you can get it in the beauty supply. It's easier to get it in the beauty supply. On um, top of that, you know what I'm saying? Just go with your pattern. Detangle brush is similar to a regular brush. You know what I'm saying? Just, just go with your pattern. Nothing changed. The only thing, the, 
the, the, the tangle is to detangle your hair, you know what I'm saying? But it's good to um, put your weights in place, you know what I'm saying, and, and go with your pattern. The same thing you do with the brush, you could do it with the detangle. It's different because detangle brush don't hold a lot of hair, you know, because it's not bristles. But it's good for that because I just use my hair, uh, my hands to, you know, scramble my hair. So what I'm doing, obviously, is detangling my, my hair and putting them back in place. They got the big ones like that, the one that they have, and they got the one that you put it in your palm. It looks like a like a big donor, but flat. It's black. They have different colors. You could use that. That's, you know what I'm saying, cheap. But I bought this one for like $8. It's not that expensive, but it, it gets the job done. So I like to work comfortable, to be honest. And everything that I got is low budget. I don't got a lot of expensive items. The only the brush is a little pricey, but besides that, I don't buy a lot of expensive stuff to get waves because waves is... It's not that uh, expensive to, you know what I'm saying? The, the only thing about waves is brushing. That's that's expensive time right there because you got to you gotta go in, you know what I'm saying? But if you really want waves, you just got to wolf at least for four weeks and just, you know what I'm saying, just brush. Like I was telling my subscribers, brushing is key. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is brush and boom and keep going and... By the time you be brushing, brushing, put the door rack on, plastic back and brushing, plastic back and brushing. By the, by the time you wake up, you, you're going to have ripples and out of nowhere, you're just going to have waves. And that's it, bingo. After that, it's just about connections. Connections, uh, you know what I'm saying, maintaining your waves and taking care of your waves. It's like anything. It's like having dreadlocks, having, you know what I'm saying, going to the shop, getting your shape up. It's the same. Now I'm gonna do the hard brush. Um, I always uh damp the, the brush with hot water so the bristles can get soft, and then I apply a little bit of shampoo on top so I could get um, that extra lather. I don't like a lot of lather because they don't it don't let me look my angles. But as you can see, all that lather is gonna go away because you're gonna start brushing. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like to OD with the shampoo. I res my respect to my other waves, you know what I'm saying? They like to put a lot of shampoo, like 360 Juice, Jeezy. But me personally, you know, everybody got their own their own decisions, how to do their hair. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not God to tell them what not to do. But me personally, I like a little lather. I only like lather when I'm about to rag up. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to put the, the rag on. That's what I... I create a little uh, extra ladder, extra shampoo, just to extra lay my hair down and then, you know, rag up. As you can see, you know, when you're doing washing style, make sure you take it easy, you take it slow, you know what I'm saying? Because remember, your hair is wet. That means that your hair is fragile. I mean fragile, by Your hair could shift from one second to another one and you could create a fork easy it happened to me so please please be advised you know what i'm saying when you brushing when you when you're doing washing style this is for everybody my beginners and elite waivers you know what i'm saying salute if you doing a washing style make sure you pay attention when you brush it because this is the top this is the best and the worst time and i'm gonna explain it why it's the best and the worst time this is the best time for you to be elite and to correct your angles and your forks and your connections. And this is the worst time if you mislead your hair. Just by one inch, you mislead your, your, your brush section, your angles, you're going to create a fork. And I think I, I think I create one on, on my top. I'm going to show in the, um, in the next video, which is, you know, what to do after that washing style. It's coming soon after this, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to keep you guys holy. I'm going to keep dropping flames. But please, be advised. That's the reason why I told you, you don't have a lot of lather. Because you want to see what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You want to keep... Like I said, make sure you keep that brush going. And don't go out of lead. You know what I'm saying? Go with your pattern. And 
take it slow, especially with the hard brush. This brush that you guys see that I got, this is a real hard brush. And you, you, you see me brushing, right? But I'm not really pushing my brush down because if I push it down, I'm going to hurt my scalp. And I, I ain't with that. So what I'm doing, I'm just pushing my hair the way it's supposed to go. Nice and soft, making sure that the brush do his job. Just by going, you know what I'm saying, the way that I like it. I'm taking my time. As you can see, you know, I'm not rushing it. I'm taking my time with it. And that's what you got to do. You got to be consistent with your brush strokes. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't mislead your angles because if you overlap your angles, you're going to get mad after you on rag. You know what I'm saying? You, you're going to have the forks crashing with each other. Your pad is going to look messy. You're going to get mad. And, and then you're going to have to wash and style again. And that's not good for your scalp because you just clean all your all your products out and your scalp is clean. And you're doing a, a, another section. Why? Because you created a fork. So to avoid all that drama, please pay attention. I always tell you, pay attention to when you're brushing. You know what I'm saying? The same way you brush when you dry hair, brush where you wet hair. Because when your hair is wet, when your hair is wet, it's easier man it's it's like it's like snapping your it's like snapping your fingers it's easy to get a fork so for all my subscribers all my beginners this is for my beginners like after you pass the ripple stage and you want to do a washing style after ripple stage don't scramble do washing style normally just use a um regular comb and brush with uh, against the grain uh, uh with the grain don't go against the grain uh, against the grain is like when your pattern is already um, trained like mine. You see, mine is trained. But when your pattern is not trained yet, go with the grain, with the comb, with the detangle, and with the brush. Okay, so pay attention to that. Make sure that your hair, you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm doing here? I'm applying the oil. Why? Because after I do my rinse out, I want my waves not to be dry, dry. They gonna be dry, but not that dry, cause I put a lot of extra cocoa oil, so I, so I can keep my hair moisturized a little bit. So if you wanna do this technique, you could do it. That's the reason why I'm making the video. And after that, you just with the lather that you have, you just lay your hair down with your hands. You do like a section with your hands, you know what I'm saying? With the lather that you have, so you could have that extra lay in your waves. You know what I'm saying? You see, I'm doing the brush section with my hands. The same way I use the palm, I use the brushes and everything, I'm doing it with my hands. Why? Because it's good. You get that, you know, you get the baby hairs, they stick, you know, the frizzy hairs, and you lay it down with your hair, with your hands. And after that, what I do, I put a little extra shampoo, you see, in my hands, so I could create an extra lather, so I could get thicker shampoo in my hair, so I could keep them down more. So this is techniques that I use, and that's the reason why I have extra late waves. That's the reason why a lot of people have me, you know, like telling me, yo, your waves is mad silky, your waves is super late. This is the technique that I use. So besides that, I don't double compress when I wash this style. Why? Because I snug my do-rack. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to double compress because my hands already super trained. You know what I'm saying? So when your hair is super trained, you don't really need to double compress unless you wolfing more than five months. That's different. This is just, I'm wolfing one month right here. This is one month, so I don't need to double compress. Double compress is only when you wolfing for three months and down. You know what I'm saying? So look at my waves. Look at my pattern. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm doing right now is just extra lay. Make sure that all oh, my hair is not frizzy. Make sure I got the lather so when I rinse out. And that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Okay? So we, after this, I'm going to rack up. The other video is going to come up. What I do after washing style for my beginners. And just pay attention. You know what I'm saying? When you do brushing section, remember, uh, washing style is, is, is hard if you don't know how to brush with, you, with your pattern. That what I'm trying to tell you is you could create a fork easy. Okay, hard. You when, when you when your hair is, is is dry, it takes time to create a fork. But when your hair is wet, you can make it a, a fork easy because your hair is easy to your hair is easy to move 
any side. So pay attention to that. So as you can see, I created more lather so I could get the extra leg. You know what I'm saying? This is the trick that I use. After I'm done with everything, I create an extra leg so my pattern could go down with the extra leg that I need. So when I put the do-rag on, boom, I get the extra silky and shine. So I'm doing a brushing style, you could say, with my hands. So pay attention to that. Do these type of tips so you could get best results. If I'm doing it because it's working for me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you guys, do this. You know what I'm saying? Get you get 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 your products. You know what I'm saying? Be on game and do what I'm doing. And trust me, you're not gonna regret it. Cause you guys looking at my pattern, you guys see my videos. You know what I'm saying? My waves is not that bad. I'm trying to get better. But how you get better? You get better by practicing. You know what I'm saying? Learning your hair and you know, getting better brushing every day and, and, and learn how to brush the best way. So now I'm putting my crown patches. I double compress my crown because I got a swirl. So, you know, say a lot of people use one, a lot of people use two. I use two, um, two um, crown patches. Since I got a swirl and I'm woofing my swirl, you know, my swirl gets bigger. So I got to keep it down. So I hope you guys like this video. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, and share with your friends. You know what I'm saying? And just when you rag up, Make sure you snuck that, that do-rack. As you can see, I'm showing the stitches. Make sure the stitches is facing up for my beginners. Okay? You don't want the line to be um from the back to the front. You don't want that. So this is how uh, I do my do-rack, okay? This is another technique. When you um, put in your do-rack at the end, make sure that you um do it right. Make sure that the flaps is flat. You see, it's flat from the back to the front. And I don't pull all of them at the same line. I divide them. The reason why I divide the do-rack like that in three in three sections, because I um I take the tension from your forehead. Because you don't want the line in your forehead. So all the tension that I have in my front, I break it. So my forehead won't, won't have all that tension. And you create, you know what I'm saying, that line in your forehead. That's another technique, you see? And I don't I don't tie it right in the back. I move I move it to the side so I won't have that tension. Put your hand on top of your forehead so when you pull a do-rack, your waves don't go back. You know what I'm saying? You see, you pull it from both sides, left, right, while you're holding the front. Then you adjust the, the back, you see? That's to take the tension away from your forehead. And then, you know what I'm saying, you pull it down for the sides. You know, snug it, and that's it. All right? That's another technique that I show you guys. Everything snug. Rinse it out. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right? Take care.